Hi everyone. In today's video, we will dive deep into a special transformation in Informatica IDMC that is unconnected lookup transformation. So we will explore how it works, its significance and a real-time use case that you can implement in our projects. So what is an unconnected lookup transformation? So an unconnected lookup transformation is a lookup that isn't directly connected to the data flow. This is the reason I was saying you that uh, it was a special transformation, right? So it's a transformation like any other transformation, but it is not directly connected to the data flow, right? So that's a special about this transformation. So instead, uh, it acts as a function that can be called within another transformation like expression transformation. So uh, even though we have a lookup transformation as part of the mapping, it is not directly connected to the data flow. And how do we use it is we actually call that lookup, unconnected lookup within an another transformation that is expression transformation. So when, when to use this, when to use this transformation, right? So if it is uh, not connected directly to the data flow, so when, when can we use this is, so if you wanted the lookup logic conditionally, so if you wanted to call the lookup table conditionally or occasionally, then we can use the unconnected lookup transformation, right? And also when we wanted to use the same lookup in multiple transformations within the mapping, then also we can use the unconnected lookup transformation, right? So what do we get in this case? Like when I use this unconnected lookup, what do we get? So we get the improved performance because we are not going to call the lookup table or the lookup transformation for each record, unlike connected lookup transformation, right? So we actually uh, call the lookup table conditionally, right? So this actually improves the performance as it avoids unnecessary lookups, right? So uh, for a better understanding, you can actually watch uh, a video which I have made on connected lookup transformation. So the link has been provided on the top, right? So you can watch it and then come back and you can watch this video if you want it, right? So this is what unconnected lookup transformation is, right? So improve, it actually improves the performance because we are only calling the lookup uh, conditionally. So which avoids the unnecessary lookups, right? So Let's understand it with an example. Imagine you are working on an e-commerce project where you process sales data, for example. I have a sales table here. So you can see the sales data here, transaction ID, customer ID, transaction amount, and the date, right, sales date. So this is the sales data and we wanted to process this data. And we wanted, we are interested to fetch the customer information, that is customer segment, segment like, you know, uh, which segment customer falls into whether uh, gold, silver, bronze, like that, right? So there will be different segments and we, we are interested to fetch the customer segment. And that is stored in a, another table, customer master table. So this information of customer segment is stored in another table. So it has customer ID as well. So you can see our sales table has, also has a customer ID. So we wanted to fetch that customer segment into the uh, in, into our sales table, enhanced sales table, right? So but here, the customer segment is required only for the transactions above 1,000. So I'm not interested to fetch all the customer segments. In that case, I can uh, we can use the connected lookup itself, right? So we don't want it to fetch all the customer segments. So we, I'm interested to only fetch uh, you know, customer segments whose transaction amount is greater than 1,000. So only then I wanted to fetch the customer segment. So And also, so this actually... Uh, because in this case, if I fetch all the records, right, that would degrade the performance unnecessarily because I'm interested to only fetch the customer segment if the transaction amount is greater than 1000, right? So here, an unconnected lookup transformation is a perfect fit because the lookup logic is required conditionally. So when, when we use this uh, lookup uh, logic conditionally, then it improves the performance. It will not actually, you know, apply the uh, logic or call the lookup table uh, for every record, right? So now let's see how to achieve this. So we have sales table and we wanted to achieve the customer segment only conditionally, that is based on the transaction amount if it is greater than 1000. So we'll see how to achieve this using unconnected lookup transformation. So logging into your IDMC, create a new mapping. So first you'll select the data integration service and then you'll create a new mapping, right? We have source and target default. You can uh, rename your mapping optionally. And source, let's configure. So sales table is our source, right? Which is in Oracle. So I'm gonna select the sales table here. 
this is my source. So once we select the sales table, then, then we'll actually choose the transformation. So you can find it out here, sales table. Optionally, you can preview the data. And then we'll actually configure the unconnected hookup transformation. Seems like that is slow. All right, so we got we got the table. Now we'll have the unconnected lookup transformation. So you can just press on this uh, circle blue color one and uh, find out lookup transformation, right? So when we wanted to make a trans lookup transformation unconnected, so you have an option here, right? So we need to select this checkbox so that it becomes uh, unconnected lookup and you get a warning saying that this will remove all the incoming fees and any configured field rules and any linkage with upstream and downstream transformation. So you can see this linkage. So it is saying linkage will be removed is what it will say. It is saying because it is unconnected lookup transformation. It will come out of uh, uh, the data flow and it will uh, leave within the mapping as a separate uh, transformation. Let's see that. So let's, let's press yes. And you can see, so it actually lost the linkage. So you can we can just keep it aside. May, maybe not... Uh, uh, within the other transformations in the data flow. So this is the unconnected lookup, right? So you can actually name it something like this, lookup customer segment. We wanted to look up this uh, uh, when we wanted to actually fetch the customer segment. So I named it like that. Now, let's see the incoming field. So it will not have the incoming fields because uh, it is not uh, linked with the source anymore, right? But still, when we wanted to call this uh, lookup, from expression transformation, we actually pass the some input, right? So that has to be held. So that has to be held by some field. So for that, what we'll do is we'll actually create some field here, input field, incoming field. So when we call uh, this lookup uh, transformation and pass some ID or something, then it has to be held by some field, right? As it has, it doesn't have uh, incoming fields from the upstream right so we are defining one field all right now lookup object all the remaining ones are same as the you know connected lookup transformation so wherever your lookup uh, table is present so we will select that lookup object is present in oracle so i am selecting that lookup object is uh, customer master and uh, if there are multiple matches so what you wanted to return so you can just return any row first row like that and the lookup condition. So here, the lookup condition, when we wanted to fetch the data, right? So when lookup field, so these are the columns of the lookup table. So when my customer ID is equal to input ID. So we haven't configured this, right? So when we call the expression transformation, we'll actually pass the ID, customer ID from the table, source table. Then it will actually match, if it is matching with the lookup, uh, lookup table customer ID, then we, we'll return some field. So what we wanted to return, we want, we are interested to return the customer segment, right? So here you see a radio button written here. Unlike connected lookup transformation, we can't actually return the multiple uh, fields from the lookup table. So that's the main difference you need to remember. So you can only return one output or uh, one field from the lookup table when you are using unconnected lookup. And if there is uh, no match, right? So you can configure the default column value, which is optional. So you just need to click on edit metadata and you can just provide some value here. So I'll just say none. If there is no match, so I'll just call the segment as none, right? That's it. You can save the mapping till now. So it is still like unconnected, right? Now let's connect this here like this and we'll add the expression transformation because we wanted to call this lookup within an expression transformation. We can only call the unconnected lookup transformation from an expression transformation. That's the reason I just added the expression transformation. And as it is connected, it will get the incoming field from the source. And what, what we wanted, we wanted the 
conditional logic, right? So we wanted to write the conditional, right? So what I'll do here is I'll just call it as I'll create an output field out underscore customer segment, right? And then here is the place where we actually write the condition. So what is the condition if my transaction amount is greater than 1000, only then I wanted to call the lookup. So this is, so uh, notice here how we are calling the unconnected lookup uh, transformation. Colon LKP, that is fixed. That's the syntax dot. And then the actual uh, transformation name, customer segment. So this is how you need to call the unconnected lookup. So you could, maybe you, you would have more than one unconnected lookup, right? So in that case, this is how you need to actually uh, call the unconnected lookup. Polar LKP in uppercase dot, whatever the lookup uh, transformation name you have provided for your unconnected lookup transformation, right? So, and also we are calling that now, right? So it actually accepts one input that we have defined, right? So what is the input we need to pass? Customer ID, because customer ID is common from for sales and customer master table. And this is an if condition, right? So how does if condition works? So first it checks the condition. If it is true, it returns the second parameter. If it is false, meaning if the first parameter which evaluates to Boolean, true or false, if it is true, it, it returns the immediate parameter. And if it is false, it returns the next parameter. That is the third parameter within the if function. So we can just say something like this, not applicable. Because we are not interested to fetch the customer segment uh, uh, if the transaction amount is less than 1000, right? You can write any logic here. I'm just uh, uh, giving some example, right? So just validate your expression. So it, the expression is valid. So you can just click on OK. So what did we do here? So we configured the unconnected lookup as it is unconnected lookup. So we need to call it in the expression transformation. So we are calling it as an expression transformation. And we wanted to call it conditionally, right? So we don't want it to look up for every record. So in this case, if you observe, it is not going to look up the table every time. So only if the transaction amount in the source is greater than 1000, only then so the lookup transfer, the lookup table will be called. And while calling, we'll pass the customer ID. Then what, what do we get it? So we configured unconnected lookup transformation to return the customer segment. So we are going to get the customer segment, right? So if it doesn't match us, right? So then if it doesn't match us with the cash or if the transaction amount is less than 1000, then this will be returned n by s, right? And that will be held in the field name out underscore customer segment, right? So this we will actually write it into the target. So now we will configure the target. All the incoming fields. So you can see in the incoming fields, we also got the one which we just configured in expression transformation. This is the field where we will get the customer segment. So I'll just uh, write the data into a flat file target. We'll create a new flat file. Where we can just call it a sales customer segment. Maybe dot csv file. Yeah, you can see here we don't have any such file. We are creating it new. So we don't get the target fields and field mapping. All right. We'll just save it. Or before that, let's validate the mapping. So you can see the mapping is valid. Now save it. All right. Now we can. Run the mapping. So make sure your runtime environment is correct and also check if it is if all the services in your secure agent are up and running. Yeah, in my case, it is up and running. So I'll just go ahead and run the mapping task. We can we can track the job in my jobs. So the output should include the customer segments for only the transaction amounts greater than 1000 for so the customers whose transaction amount is greater than 1000 right yeah it's success rose process 7 now let's 
go to the location and you can see sales customer segment. Let's open this and see the output. So if you see here, the transaction amount is greater than thousand dollars, like one, uh, two, three, four, I guess. We'll see, we'll see that in the output. Yeah, you can see output customer uh, segment. So only gold and diamond were written because above thousand, uh, it is only gold and diamond, I guess. So that, that's how the data is, right? So you can see the customer master. So it has gold, silver, bronze, different types and uh, more than thousand. So there are four records and uh, based on that, we got the segment, customer segment. And if, if the transaction amount is less than 1000, then, then we just got N by A for them. So this is how you can actually call the unconnected lookup. So uh, so what did we do here? So when did when we need to use it? So as we wanted to call uh, the lookup table conditionally, when the transaction amount is greater than 1000, when we, want, uh, we wanted to call the lookup table, right? So that's the reason we actually used the unconnected lookup. And also, if you wanted to use the same unconnected lookup, uh, right? So again, uh, in the data flow, in the mapping, uh, maybe if you are interested to use it again, right? So then you can direct, uh, you can use it again, a number of times, right? The same uh, lookup uh, transformation, you can use it again and again, right? So you have to, and also after getting this output, right? From the expression transformation, then you can add a filter transformation if you wanted to filter the records, or you can use the, router transformation if you wanted to uh, you know have the golden customers right gold custom gold segment customers into one target and diamond segment customers into another target you can you could use a router transformation and do that right so you have to uh, keep in mind that uh, when to use it that's important here so when you have like a, a requirement where you wanted to call the lookup table conditionally only then you have to go for the unconnected lookup and when you wanted to use the same lookup in multiple uh, transformations within the mapping also, you need to consider unconnected lookup. Only then you'll get the improved performance. Or else, uh, if your requirement doesn't fall into this category, then it's better you actually go for the connected lookup transformation, right? So that's all for today's video. I hope uh, you now have a clear understanding of unconnected lookup transformation. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Drop your questions or feedback in the comments below and let me know what topics you'd like me to cover next. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.